Hello, Anteater fans. Michael O'Sullivan here with Mike Gillespie as we look over Anteater Ballpark, getting ready for another season, Coach, as we go into the schedule here. And uh, things will get going in February, as always, and a nice opening weekend here at home. You take on Minnesota, a Big Ten representative, and they had 36 wins a year ago, the Golden Gophers, and they made it to a regional, so that's, that's a nice opening weekend. It really is a good weekend to open with, Michael. Uh, I mean, you've said it right about Minnesota. They won the Big Ten Conference last year. Um, over the long history of that program, that's been a program that's really been a big winner. And they're going to come out here with a lot of guys that return off that championship team. Um, it'll be a good start, no question. Yeah, nice for Minnesota to come here in February. <laughs> and not you guys going there. Then you got the uh, Tony Gwynn Tournament. And late February, you got San Diego State just before that, and I know that's a tournament with a very good field as well in San Diego. Yes, you know, this is just the second year of that tournament, and they've done a great job getting that tournament started with really heavyweight teams in that tournament. They have not yet announced their pairings. Uh, they gave us an indicator that we probably would play Wichita State and we would play Tennessee, but that has not been dialed in yet but regardless of who it is it's going to be great competition and they will use the two fields of uh, the University of San Diego and San Diego State so it's close by uh, our people can get to that to that tournament easily and it's going to be another great challenge yeah that should be a very competitive field there just down south and then the calendar flips to March a series that really jumps off the page here TCU has been a national power I mean 49 and 18 a year ago and they got to Omaha, lost to Coastal Carolina, who won the College World Series last year. Well, you're right again. Um, probably on the whole schedule, it is, as you said, it's probably the single series that jumps out the most. I'm not quite certain that uh, we don't have people in our own conference that can match up just as well, but they are for sure. Uh, there's no question, they are one of the teams that could win the national championship. I mean, they return everybody off that team that went to Omaha and did well in Omaha. And they've been to Omaha three, years in the la three out of the last four years. So they're, uh, they're a big-time powerhouse. And that hopefully a series that we get a lot of fans in attendance as TCU comes here to Anteater Ballpark. And then taking a look, you go at Seattle. Just before that, a trip to take on UCLA. But a Seattle a team that had a nice year as well. They really did, Mike. They, um, they came in here last year. We had a great series with them. And they really had outstanding pitching. I mean premier pitching. And they returned that pitching. And uh, they won the WAC conference. They did not win the conference title, so they did not get a bid to go to the playoffs. But uh, that program is a program that's really come. I mean, they're, they're, they've been a comer, and uh, I think a, a program that can play with anybody. And starting March 21st into early April, you'll have eight straight home games here at Anteater Ballpark. It'll kick off with USC, and then Houston comes in before Big West play starts to open up a little bit. But that SC-Houston four-day stretch, that should be a good one. Well, it will be. I mean, uh, that, that series that we play with SC every year is always fun, and it's always exciting. And they are a club that uh, ought to be good every year. They were good uh, again last year. The Houston team, I think, is probably, to the folks in Southern California, a little bit underrated. Uh, they're a team that could get to Omaha. Uh, they've, they've, they have really, that, that program is another program that's risen. And um, I think that when we look up at the end of the year, we're going to find that they're another team that has 40-plus wins. We just hope they don't get yeah. any of them against us. Right. So the Cougars in here for three, and then Loyola Marymount, Cal Poly will officially start Big West play. Before we get into the kind of the landscape of the league uh, here on the West Coast, you make a trip to Oregon, and that's always a power as well in Eugene. Well, they really are. I mean, uh, they're, they're one of the teams that uh, in any year that we start the year that you'd say that's another team that could be an Omaha team and that could win the whole thing. And it's always, I think, um, I think interesting to people in Southern California about Oregon because George Horton is the head coach who's a Southern California guy and for a long time as everybody knows was the head coach very very successful head coach at Cal State Fullerton and by the way their pitching coach now is Jason Dietrich who at one time was our pitching coach and um, so there's a little more of interest yeah. there and uh, it's a Cadillac operation I mean they've got resources like very few people have right. and uh, they always always have frontline pitching they they always have first round pitching this is the toughest non-conference schedule you've had since you've been here? Yes, it is, without a question. This is our 10th year here, yeah. and um, there's no doubt that it's the, it's the toughest schedule with no comparison. Looking at the Big West, I mean, we've talked about this in past years. Yes. It can be the best conference on the West Coast 
any given year, and it has been over the last several seasons, some could say. And uh, you talk about it going back to you guys several years back, three straight years of representatives in Omaha. Santa Barbara went there last year, Fullerton the year before that. I mean, the landscape of the league, what are you looking for this year? Well, I, I think what you've just said was well said. Uh, this conference clearly is uh, on, uh, on a level with the best conferences in the nation. Fullerton's the champion, uh, and until they're not, they're the champion, and they have been uh, for the most part for many, many years. But the Long Beach States, the UC Santa Barbaras, the Cal Polys, uh, these are all programs that can play with anybody. Right. But I think what we tend to do is underestimate the uh, development of the programs at Northridge, uh, at Riverside, uh, at UH. Um, Davis is always a, a program that can beat anybody. So it's from top to bottom, I really do believe this conference is as good as there is. And uh, I think it's the usual suspects again. I mean, you've got to go through Fullerton. Right. But the Long Beach and the Santa Barbara and uh, the Cal Poly programs, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that Cal Poly program. And, and I think they're certainly one of the teams that uh, could be standing at the very end. Yeah, highlighted conference matchup here at home, Long Beach State. Then to actually close out the regular season, you'll have Davis here at Anteater Ballpark. But looking at your team, Keston Hira sure been a big bat in your lineup since he's got here for the last couple of seasons. And from what I understand, he played some international ball this summer. Yes, he did. He, he uh, made the USA team, and he was a key player on that team. Yeah. Actually had the big hit in the last game at Cuba. Uh, pinch hit eighth inning home run that proved to be the, the, the winner in that game. He's a special hitter. Um, he's a guy that is recovering from a, a serious elbow injury and it's ongoing. So we're holding our breath that we get through that. And it's kind of that way with three or four guys, really. Mikey Duarte comes back to us this year after having had elbow surgery last year and missed the year. Uh, a key key guy. It looks like that's going very well. Cole Cruder had a uh, hernia surgery just a few weeks ago. Uh, we've got these. We've got a lot of ifs and maybes, and guys got to grow, and guys have got to be what they're supposed to be. Cameron Bishop is a key, key guy. Uh, he's got a chance to be a special Friday night type pitcher, and he needs to be. And I, we look for him to to be that. Uh, we have an exciting freshman player in Christian Koss. Uh, there's a couple of new faces that are going to make a difference to us. Uh, Lewis Raymond's a right-hand pitcher from Orange County that played at Quest of Community College last year that's got to pitch well for us. I like what the chances are. I like yeah. what the ingredients are. It's, um, uh, it's all in there. We've got, to, we, we, we've got to get through these injuries, and uh, we've got time to do that. And then we've got to be what we're supposed to be. Should be a lot of great baseball played and watched here at Anteater Ballpark this season. Skip, thanks so much for taking a little time with us. and. Uh... We'll see you out here in February. Well, thanks for doing this, Michael. We, we, we think it's going to be an exciting year, and I'm glad that you're putting this out in front of the people that follow UCI baseball. Anytime. We'll see you next time, Anteater fans.